Alright y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms channel. Okay, today we're checking out something from the Lithuanian Armed Forces. Now, we haven't checked out anything from the Lithuanian Armed Forces in a while, if we've even checked out anything ever, to be honest. But I guess this is about their, their recce's or their recon elements. Now, I don't know if the recce's is its own unit. Looking at the description, it says they provide the commander with, you know, the most accurate data. So it sounds like it's like a subordinate unit inside, just like a bigger kind of infantry battalion, kind of like how it is in the U.S. Army. But this is focusing on their patrol course. So I guess at the end, they get like a patrol patch, which I guess is kind of like what being recon is. Now, in the U.S. Army, we have something called ARSLIC, which is a recon surveillance leader course. And I think at the end of that, you get like a recon patch, which, you know, looks kind of cool or a recon tab. Yeah, but you can't really wear it. So it kind of sucks. But looks like it's going to be a good one. And it looks like a doozy from what I've seen so far. Let's check it out. Some repelling, maybe, off of a sketchy looking bridge. Oh my gosh. Wait, are they seriously repelling off of that thing? Because looking at this rails, I'm not sure if I would trust any anchor point sort of attached to this thing. They are just using the rails. Okay. <laughs> Looks like fun though. Nice. I always look at bridges and I always like think, you know, that'd be kind of fun to repel off of. Nice. Okay, some vehicle stuff. Hmm. So I wonder if they all go through like airborne school as well. I was like, what is he about to do? Okay. Lithuania looks a lot like the east coast of the US to be honest. Maybe like Virginia or something. <laughs> I wonder how cold it is though. I mean, it's pretty up there, so I imagine it can get pretty cold. Actually, oh snap, okay, there are subtitles. Nice. Hell yeah. I like that mentality. <laughs> I'm liking the cool little rafts. That's like always what you picture, at least like for the Marine Corps and especially like a, a recon element. Doing cool inserts like that. Are they carrying this with like a strap or something? In between two people? That's interesting. I've not seen that before. Hmm. So maybe like ranger school, but also probably like our arse like it's pretty tough from what I heard. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's so cool. Damn, that is super high up too. Okay. Symbolic crossing, okay. Yeah, so nine weeks is like just long enough for it to be annoying and, and something that you're definitely not going to look forward to, especially if it's going to be like a brutal course. But it looks like you know, getting to the end, getting to that active part that they were talking about and those dudes like doing the repelling off the bridge, that looks pretty sweet. But I guess it's also kind of like a leadership school because they're talking about doing operations orders. So they probably have to draft them up, do a bunch of planning for these recon operations as well. And I gotta say their camouflage looks kind of interesting. Uh -oh. Hmm. Yep, 
And this is where I would not be having a good time at all. Hmm. I wonder what they have to do though, what kind of tests they do. I mean, if you told me to swim over like 100 meters, especially in like a uniform, probably not gonna happen. I'm sure that's not part of the test, he's kind of just doing that. <laughs> Tam vandeniui tiek skiriama dėmesiu. Vienas dalykas tai yra psichologinis patikrinimas, nes mūsų pasantai turi plaukti su aprang. I'm trying to make room for these uh, subtitles, but it's not really working out so well. I wish I can kind of like... Bruh. What the heck, I could do this the entire time? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, good to know. Su ginklu, su kuprinė. Kitas dalykas, tai iš taktinės pusė išvelgiant, mes vaikščiame ne tik tai žeme. Mūsų vietovė yra ir vanduoja, norint papulti iš taško į taško B. Yeah, makes sense. Reikia tą vandenį kirsti. Should be pretty comfortable with the water if you're gonna have to move through it. Bet gali tiek tik kirsti tokią vandens kliūtį naktį, kaip yra šalta. Dėl to yra reikalingas tas toksai stiprus. That sucks. Hopefully they have some waterproof stuff. Stiprios baseinė treniruotės, tam, kad karys galėtų reikalo esant kirsti tos vandens kliūtės. Nothing too crazy so far from what I've seen. Ow. I think that dude that lands on the freaking rope thing. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of cool that they're actually like teaching though as well and not just like saying screw you, you know, <laughs> show up knowing how to swim really well or you're going to get screwed. What's the purpose of that? Man, I feel like the, the bag or the gun would hit you in the back of the head <laughs> or something. <laughs> hmm. Okay, little firearms stuff on range day. Oh, yeah. Damn, they get to do this stuff too? Sounds like a freaking fun course. Tas pats išsiskirimo taškas gali būti jūsų varsvai. Ryšinį tos medį, kur lieto varsvai, dar neštumus, būtinai, būtinai, neštumai turi būti varsvai. In class wearing kit. Nice, there we go. Man, those G36s look nice. Their kit looks pretty solid as well. Yeah, you can tell how much pride they have in their gear, just like not having any of those loose straps. Really means something. Really tells you it's professional organization. Clean. Oh, nice paint job too. I wanna shoot a G36 so bad. Some of the coolest guns. Nice transition, what the heck? Okay. That thing also looks sick. Oh, it looks like our, uh, looks like an Oshkosh vehicle, like our JLTV almost. Okay, little ambush action, I guess. Dude, this editing is so cool, it's so unique. Combined with like the shooting style. Nice. The carry. Damn, what the heck? Dude, this is a sick horse. Okay, there you go. Little little bit of camouflage on the helmet. Okay. Oh 
Oh, nice. What is this? Little, some air salt stuff. So dramatic <laughs> to share that like helicopter that looks like it's like 50 years old or something. Hmm. Man, that is an ugly helicopter. I mean, if it works, it works. It's more, more than you can say with some helicopters. Just, wait, I think that was a repel. I'm not. Yeah, okay, repelling and fast roping. That's an awkward repel. He's gotta like jump out of the door, huh? I've only repelled from a, a helo that has like a ramp. I haven't even done it out of like a Blackhawk or anything. I feel like it's a little bit more awkward than the door like that. Was that? What's was that bad thing? film <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, well said. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, it's just pain. So much weight you gotta carry in a recon element. Just communications and water. Hmm. Cool terrain, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that would be ideal, you know, not, you know, snapping any branches or not making any noise. But at the same time, that also comes into your navigation. And ideally, you know, you can look at a map and kind of understand where the terrain's gonna get kind of crappy, but still, sometimes you just come upon these crazy bushes and, you know, you could try and go around it or you can just break through it. And it really just depends on how far away you are from the objective, if you expect any patrols to be nearby. But yeah, sometimes I've seen it just get really crappy people take out the red lenses and they're just breaking through all this water and this brush and yeah it's not a fun time but yeah ideally you're not going to be snapping too many branches <laughs> It's a tough life, but it's also like kind of cool because there's like really nothing else like it. You really embrace the suck. I never got to do like a whole lot of small boat stuff, but it looks like fun. More of like the marine recon kind of thing. Attacking ships though. And again, airborne stuff looks cool, but I'm not really interested in doing it ever. I've heard a lot of horror stories. Hmm. It sucks they gotta move somebody on a litter through that kind of terrain. Hopefully not too far though. Dude, that grass is like so green, even for me as a colorblind person. <laughs> oh, I like his his shirt there. It looked pretty cool too. Gotta say that 
editing and stuff for this was a lot cooler than I was expecting. Yra toks posakys, kad sako, yra nesvarbu tikslas, yra svarbi kelionė. The journey is rough. Ir tie nuotykiai, pat ir tie išbandymai, nusivylimai tos kelionės metu, jie yra labai, labai jautros. Ir tas parbėgimas, tai yra kaip tos kelionės vainiekavimas. Hmm. Yeah, I want to see what this looks like. I know he was talking about it being kind of symbolic. Kind of like the Royal Marines, I guess. At the end of their uh, 30 mile <laughs> That's some good motivation right there, though. I don't know how far they're going, but I'm sure it was brutal. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done anything like that where kind of at the end you have all these badasses cheering you on and stuff. Is that a K bar? Looks like one, huh? Check out the uh, the patches. Oh, we had an Estonian troop there too. Išį kursą galiu pasakyti vara vara. Tiem kam reikia, tie supras, kad šie žodžiai reiškia. Nice. Okay. Man, I didn't know what to expect, but it is nice when you get these high quality videos like this. There it is, okay. Nice, the dirty hands and stuff too. That's like a recruiting poster right there. Very cool. And this is why I love doing these reaction videos. You really never know what to expect. Like I will try and watch like, you know, 10, 20 seconds of it, just kind of see what the video is like. But like, yeah, the editing is so cool. The footage that they had was awesome. And again, just seeing that the seeing the suck that these guys are going through, I, I can really appreciate what it means. And again, like being part of like a recon element is definitely something different. It really is just like take those infantrymen that really are like either okay with or enjoy the really crappy part of being an infantryman. And those are the guys that make great recon troops. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. Yeah, it was it was very cool. It looked very reminiscent of some stuff that I've seen before, but also very different in a lot of other things. As far as like their, their swim test, even like the, the test we saw at the end was kind of reminiscent of the Royal Marine stuff, but like how they're carrying a, a 240 or whatnot. Yeah, they, they can definitely find some ways to make it crappy. And with recon, I guess it's pretty easy because you can just have like a massive backpack or, you know, just have a bunch of extra gear that you need that you need for the mission, you know? But very cool. Let me know if you guys have any other information or insights, or if you guys are in this sort of recon element. Or again, I, I think it's not necessarily a specific unit, but if you guys have gone through this course, I'd love to hear your sort of firsthand accounts. Because I mean, again, you can kind of get a good appreciation when you watch videos like this, but some of the personal stories are like, yeah, it, it's something else. And of course, as a prior recce dude myself, I love checking out courses like this. So if you guys have any of the videos that sort of have like the, the courses or go over the, the recon courses or pipeline for your specific countries, definitely recommend them down below or recommend them in the Discord. Very, very cool. But that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.